DNA replication and transcription. DNA replication is defined as the process by which an organism's original DNA is used as a template for the production of a new complementary DNA strand. The new DNA molecule must preserve the fidelity of the underlying base sequence. DNA replication in a nucleus begins when an enzyme called helicase breaks the hydrogen bonds between the two strands of DNA. It unwinds the double helix DNA into two single strands that serve as templates for the replication of DNA. The resulting structure is called a replication fork. The leading strand is formed from its 5' prime to its 3' prime strand by the enzyme polymerase 3. Polymerase 3 adds units known as nucleotides to the leading strand. Nucleotides contain sugars, phosphates and bases. The other strand, known as the lagging strand, is formed backwards from its 3' prime to its 5'. Prime. It does not form continuously like the leading strand. Instead, it forms in pieces, known as Okazaki fragments. RNA primase adds a structure known as the RNA primer to the lagging strand. DNA polymerase 3 then lays down a new DNA in the lagging strand. This process is repeated as new DNA is added to the strand. Another type of DNA polymerase, known as polymerase 1, replaces the RNA primers in the lagging strand with DNA. Finally, DNA ligase links the Okazaki fragments. Thus, the lagging strand is completely replicated. DNA transcription is the process by which RNA is created from a DNA template. During transcription, a DNA sequence is read by RNA. An RNA polymerase binds to the promoter site of a DNA strand in order to begin DNA transcription. It combines with transcription factors to form the transcription initiation complex. As it moves along the DNA strand, the RNA polymerase breaks the hydrogen bonds between complementary nucleotides and separates the double helix. Only one strand is copied during the process of transcription. RNA nucleotides pair with complementary DNA nucleotides in order to form an RNA strand. This strand is known as messenger RNA or mRNA. It is the copy of the message contained in the gene. DNA transcription ends when the RNA polymerase reaches the termination site of the DNA. The DNA strands bind together once again and the RNA polymerase moves away. The new mRNA molecule is then released from the RNA polymerase and is ready to be used in the translation of protein.